you probably already know how to configure a widget for storing one picture in a Merging Maps form. You choose widget type attachment, storage type select existing file, and then make sure that you store the path as a relative path to the project path, and set the integrated document viewer to type image, and automatically scale the width and the height. For configuring Merging Maps for using multiple pictures per observation, we need to follow a different procedure. We are going to create a Merging Maps project from scratch for surveying multiple pictures per point. I'll start with adding a backdrop from OpenStreetMap. You can simply drag under XYZ tiles from the browser panel the OpenStreetMap layer, and I zoom into an area of interest. Then I create a new layer, a geo package layer. I create a database called Survey and the table name, I keep it survey. It's a point layer. This is where we're gonna collect our points. And I create some fields here, like nodes. And this is the most important one for multiple pictures, is unique ID, it should also be of the text type. Let's first style this survey layer. I use a dot marker and give it a red color. Now create a second layer, which is a non-spatial layer. It's a geo package. I'll save it as photo database, because this will contain all the data linked to your pictures. I call the table photos. And then I use here no geometry as geometry type. The table name photos will also be used like that in the form. So take care that you uh, give it the name that you want. You can also rename the layer later. I add a field called photo, a field surveyor, and a date. And the most important one here is external underscore PK. And then click OK. Now click right on survey layer and go to the layer properties. There, under Attributes Form, click on Unique ID. Set the widget type to Hidden, otherwise it will show up in your field form. And add here at the default value UUID, which adds a unique identifier. Set FID also to Hidden. You can give another alias for notes if needed. Now we need to configure the 1 to N relation. Go to your project properties and there go to the relations tab and click add relation. You can keep the ID as it is. You don't need to give it a name. Relationship is association. And there choose survey with the field unique idea in the left column and in the right column use photos and external PK. So these are now linked in a relation. Now click right on Photos and go to the layer properties of Photos. Click on External underscore PK and there you see that the widget type is automatically set to Relation Reference, Display Expression to Notes, and the relation is there. Click on FID to also make it hidden. For Photo, change the widget type to Attachment. Keep it at select existing file. Store path should be relative to project path. And then the integrated document viewer should be set to image with an auto width and height so it scales with uh, the size of your viewer. You can give aliases to uh, the other fields here. So let's use capitals for photo and for surveyor. And for surveyor, we can also set a default value which can be your Mergin Maps name. Use the variable at Mergin underscore username. And for date, we can use the default value of now, the current date and time. It will be automatically filled in then. Now I need to do a few settings in the project properties. First of all, I want to set the view settings to the extent here on the screen. 
and then here under merging maps you see that parts are grayed out that is because this is not yet a merging maps project so let's save the project it's still in a local folder i call it photo survey demo and then i click the plus icon of merging maps and i create a new merging maps project from the existing one and I also give it the name photo survey demo which then will be stored under C users. Now click finish and now it will be synchronized with the Merging Maps Cloud, which has been done successfully now. From now it's a Merging Maps project and I can go back to project properties. And there under the Merging Maps tab, I can do some settings for uh, if I don't have much space on my phone, I can enable selective sync, which will only synchronize uh, my pictures and not from other users to my phone. And I can set the photo quality to medium, for example. Here I can also control the file names that are stored on my phone. I could use, uh, for example, my Merging Maps username and then add uh, the date with an underscore. But I could also use just a simple string and the date and call it survey something else in a single quote for a string. And then the date will be added with an underscore. Click apply or OK. And then save and synchronize the project to push these updates. And now you're ready to use this application in the field. Let's have a look at the project on your mobile device. I add a point here. I can add notes. I call this location Schouwburgplein. And then I can add the first picture. I use the photo widget to take a picture. There it fills in my username and other information. And I take the second picture. And that's also added. Let's do a third one. And this one is also added. Now to save this feature, I just tap save. And now this feature has the three pictures. And let's take a final one here. At the Schielands house, take a picture here from the front, take another one now from the side, and the last one at the inner court. And tap save again to save this whole feature with the three pictures. Now let's uh, synchronize to the cloud. And back in the office, we can synchronize to QGIS. And there we see our pictures added. There are the points. And now click right on survey. And if we open the attribute table, we see there the unique ID. But if I switch to form view, it is changed into the features in the first column. And then in the main panel, I see here the different pictures for each of our observation points. So that works nicely if you want to add multiple pictures per observation point.